Well, time to make our way over to Cinnabar Island, I suppose. On the back of a tiny turtle. Yeah, I know. One of these days we have to do uh, a surfing Pikachu, because it gets its own cute little sprite, but, uh... For now, we're working with this. Oh, yeah. Fight me. After all, you're a fisherman. Fight me. This is like... He's basically free experience. I can't... I can't miss out on it. Ugh. Well, that's one down. Out comes a Goldeen. Take care of that with another Thunderbolt. At least he wasn't the Magikarp guy. Okay, that was an odd number to have up there. Very unlucky game. No wonder they used to say bad things about Pokemon. It's all because of that experience gain right there. Like, 666, like, see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll take care of another Sea King. And I still don't have enough levels. Ugh. A big haul, huh? Yeah, I know. I usually don't bother with these guys, but, uh... We're usually not running a Pokemon that desperately needs levels. Oh, here's the Magikarp trainer. Gosh darn it. Didn't want to fight this guy. I regret challenging this man to a battle. Like... Like, I feared he'd have something stronger than this, you know, this late in the game. But yeah, there's always one guy that has to have a whole team full of Magikarps, I swear. Developers are like, fooled you! Like, come on, man. Like, you're wasting my power points. I don't have infinite PP. Unlike your enemies in this game. This is why PP stalling in Gen 1 is pointless, because the enemies will never run out of power points. It's why you can't try and do that, uh... Um, no direct attack run in Gen 1, because Caterpies will forever tackle you. They will never run out of tackles or string shots. You're darning the magic carp. That that's my job. Like, like that was a complete waste of my time. Better make up for it, swimmer. Ooh, a Cedra. I like it. Keep telling myself one of these days I have to do a run with Horsey. Uh, Tentacruel, not so much. But it's like every time I think about doing a run with Horsey, I'm just like, but maybe I could do this run instead. I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe after the Vulpix run. Go, go from one favorite to another. I don't know, I just like seahorses. I know they're a bit weird, you know, with uh, the males uh, putting the a fertilized eggs inside their pouch, you know, and carrying them till they're born. Bit, bit weird. And there are definitely weirder things in, out there in the wild. Like, there's a speed. There's a... There's, like, an entire group of species of insects where the females will literally have an extracting or organs so they can suck sperm out of the males. Yeah. That, that's a thing. Definitely weird. Or, you know, you got one species of hyena that has, like, a pseudopene. Yep. And the male shows submission by licking it. That's... That's its own weirdness. Probably best not to talk about it. Though it definitely has come up in a few, uh... Animes over the years. And yet, despite being in a triathlon, you feel the need to stop and fight me. I don't know, maybe it's part of the triathlon, you know, the last part's Pokemon battles, you know? First you run, then you swim, then you get into a Pokemon battle, I mean, come on. It's obvious. Ooh. A bigger turtle. Well, I'll admit, those ears are kind of weird. 
Well, that tired him out. Well, we made it to the mainland. Now to get that key. This might be one of the few areas where I actually don't care to get into a ton of fights. Okay. Not that I'll try to avoid the fights that we can get into, but... I don't know, I just don't want to spend a ton of more time in here. Not worth it. Like, even if I can one-shot it, it's still gonna absorb a move. I'm starting to wish I brought a repel, because we got across the ocean with, like, no trouble. But as soon as I step into here, you know, it's... Encounter galore, gosh darn it. Like, get off my back, man. Eh, shouldn't be that hard. Like, you're literally, like, right next to the stairs to the base floor. Not even a Charmeleon? Are you kidding me? Like, that's just an insult right there. That's a bit better. Well, that's what I get for, uh, thinking I can body slam it to death. Okay, we grew to level 60. Yeah, yeah, your bag of loot's not mine. Okay, let's get up the stairs. I really don't want to fight random encounters right now. Normally I'd be a bit more inclined, but we are running out of power points. And there's still a couple more trainers I can fight in here. Okay, let's... Come on, game. It... You're killing me. Oof. Especially with these level 40 rat ratatatas, like, come on. Ugh, I just got off fight like six steps ago. Ugh. At least none of them taking a pot shot at me. Yeah, I know, right? Damn, like every six or seven steps in here, it's encounter, encounter, encounter. Like, leave me alone, damn it. Let's do this, man. Then we can fall off. A Magnemite, huh? Okay. Makes sense. He is a scientist, after all. Okay, a Magneton. Should be easy enough to body slam this thing into the submission, right? Nope, still gotta bring in the seismic toss. Jeez. Then a Voltorb? Dude, there's no way you're gonna get a chance to blow it up. If you're gonna lead with Voltorb, you know, you should have it self-destruct, you know, right out of the gate. Like, it should be his, his deadly suicidal lead, you know? Well, let's get in a fight with this guy. Who am I? An annoying kid looking for a key. Okay, an electrode, not a big deal. I mean, it's fast, so it gets a lot of critical hits, but let's face it, we're not going to leave it in this pal for long. Well, I'll be able to shoot this town in one hit. <coughs> man, the trainer level curve here is just a bit annoying, man. I was expecting a few more levels, you know? I don't even think I can use the carbos. Yeah. My training's got that stat up over 50% complete, too. The only use I have for that at this point is to sell it off for money. 
Well, at least we saw the escape rope. We can get out of here quickly. I do question how this guy got down here. Yeah, press it. Gosh darn it. Okay, let's see. Okay, what is this? TM14? Okay, not a very useful item to grab. Okay, we can chuck... Um, nothing else over here. Gosh darn it. I'm gonna have to dump, like, uh, the max potion or something. Yep, challenge this, uh, burglar to a fight. Really? This guy Growlithe? I don't know, a bit surprised by the choice there, man. It's like, let me bring out my dog. Can I one-shot the points on now? Okay. I was actually concerned about that. Okay, let's go this way. We'll challenge you to a fight. After all, I need some more experience, and he's conveniently on the way. Like, I know we're gonna have to deal with everyone at Giovanni's gym, too. Like, that's how desperate I am to pull up levels, you know, before we get to the Giovanni fight. I'm like, I'm gonna need them. All of them. Really? I couldn't do it with one hit. Like, there's there's over 25 levels of difference there. Like, come on. Nah, I have two of those. That wouldn't help. Okay, let's hit this. And yeah, I realize grabbing these items is kind of pointless. Well, we can take the rare candy with us, at least. Gives me, uh, nine rare candies? Um, Thunderbolt, I guess. And hopefully I don't end up regretting this. Going for a minimize, huh? Well, that worked out. Let's see, what can I chuck? Well, we could just use the PP up. Um... Guess I'll up uh, Thunderbolt again. Darn, that's not the item I wanted to grab. Okay, anything else we can chuck that I definitely won't want later? Oh yeah, the vitamins. Can't use them on Pika Blue, but uh, we can dump them into another character, it's just fine. Okay, escape rope. Well, I guess straight out of here, back all the way to Saffron City. Because it's the last Pokemon Center I visited, but that's fine. We can always just, you know, fly back to Cinnabar Island. Just... Well, I'll do it for this episode. Till next time, then. See ya.